Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here, and today I'm going to do a corn on the cob cup using real corn husks. So to put my glitter on the cup, I'm using the Mod Podge method. I am starting with a 20 ounce modern curve hog tumbler that I have prepped and given a base coat of a gloss sun yellow. And so like I said, I'm using uh, Mod Podge to put my glitter, so I'm just putting a layer of Mod Podge all over this cup before adding my glitter. The glitters I'm using are both Glitter Chimp glitters. One is a mixology mix called Cream of the Crop, and the other is an ultra fine called banana and I have just mixed those two in this Dixie cup and now I'm just going to apply it to my tumbler. Once I get my tumbler completely covered with my glitter I will leave it set to dry and then I do spray it with a um, Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray to seal in that glitter. Let that dry. And now I am putting a layer of epoxy over all of that. I will put two layers of epoxy on this um, after this first layer here is uh, cured. I will give it a light sand, uh, clean it with some alcohol, and then give it another light coat of epoxy before moving on to put my decal on. So my decal is going to be this corn here. Um, I will have all of my supplies in um, where I got them all of it listed in the description down below. So I just printed these off on some water slide paper and now I'm sealing them with three coats of this Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray. Once that's all dried, I'm going to trim them up as close as I can get to the corn once I have this trimmed up I'm going to put I've got a tub of water off to the side nothing special about it just room temp water uh, put my water slide in there and leave it until it starts coming off of the paper so that I can put it on my cup here. Now, hindsight. It's always 2020, right? I should have measured this before I put it in the water um, because I should have measured it to where, like, since this is a, a curved cup, it would have been easier had I measured like right where the curve started and cut it off there. It would have been much easier to get this uh, decal on here. It was such a pain trying to work over that curve. But yeah, hindsight's always twenty twenty. So if I ever do this on a cup like this um, again, that is what I will do. I will measure to the curb or curve, um, cut the decal there, and then put it on. And had I done it that way, then I would have had some to finish closing up around the top of that cup. So once I get this on here, um, I'm using the top to try to um, as my guide um, 
some of it there at the bottom I will have to trim a little well no I don't trim it I just kind of fold it um, down on the bottom of the cup and it's not much at all so it doesn't make a it doesn't bother um, the bottom of the cup so I'll get this smoothed out the best that I can get all the water out from underneath there and leave it set to completely dry once it's dry I will put a layer of epoxy over this corn before putting my husks on so to dry my husks all I'm using my dehydrator um, I just put them in a single layer on each tray I turn it on to 135 I think for two hours And I do it this way because I can do a lot more husks at one time than using the little bit of uh, silica that I have. So here we are. Um, the layer of epoxy over the corn is cured. My husks are all dry. And now I'm going to put them on the cup. I'm starting with the open side because I want to make use the bigger ones um, to get that completely covered. Just picking some out there, um, using my scissors to trim if necessary. And I am going to use some general um, use spray adhesive to attach these husk to the cup. I have found that that works so much better than using Mod Podge. This spray adhesive works a lot faster. It'll stick these down, keep them in place so that you can keep moving right along without having to kind of wait and let that Mod Podge set and dry um yeah so i will just keep picking out um pieces and layering them on around the cup of course leaving some of the corn exposed and yeah i will just uh keep doing this until i have it covered the way that I want it. If you're going to use a spray adhesive, I would recommend covering your work area um, with something, um, some plastic that you're not going to need again, um, paper. I'm actually working on a an old towel that I will just throw in the washer when I'm done. I'm trying the best I can while I'm putting um, the husk down to kind of flatten them out, um, pull them apart so that they'll lay flat against the cup. Um, it was hard enough to do on the previous um, Indian corn cup and that was a straight cup. With this being a curved cup and the husks are really dry and um curled up it's even harder to get them situated on this cup here but i just keep working at it and eventually get it covered
So once I get these stuck on the way that I like, um, here they are. I'll set this to the side and let it completely dry. And then I will um, come in here with some Mod Podge to kind of seal those uh, corn husks. Which I guess technically I didn't have to do this right now um, because I am going to color the husks, but yeah. So I started off with that um, silicone spatula thingy. It just wasn't working. Um, so I'm using uh, just a old paintbrush to really get in the grooves and everything of those husks to get them to hopefully lay flatter on the cup. And once this is all dry, um, I will come in with, I'm going to use alcohol ink this time to color my husks. So I've got um, a bunch of, well, I've got every green that I have pulled out and I've got um, just an old um, piece of cardboard here that I'm going to get, um, I'm going to squirt a little bit of each of these colors out on to see which colors I think are going to work best to make it look like um, corn. And this is what I do um, if I'm using, if I'm not sure of the color that I want, if I'm using my um, alcohol inks or if I'm using my um, paint pens, um, I'll pull out the colors I think I might want and put a little mark of each on a piece of cardboard, piece of paper, and um, just to see... Um, what I want for sure I guess to see what's going to work well together so I uh, end up using um, two inks by Ranger um, the first one here I'm putting on is called lemonade and I'm just uh, squirting a little bit on and using a brush to uh, brush that into the husks completely covering those husks trying to keep it off of the corn itself but not too worried um, about it getting on there because I'll show you how I clean that part at the end so I keep stopping and looking at it because it's just I'm <laughs> I'm not sure about this color, but I keep going with it and I think it works in the end. So finishing up with this color, I've got it all covered and now I'm going to let that set for just a second to let that layer of ink dry and I'm going to come in with um, Mojito. 
it's a darker green and just kind of give it some highlights around the cup. So once I'm satisfied with all of that, um, I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol in a cup and use this like little cotton swab thingy to dip in there and go around the cup and wipe off any alcohol ink that got on the corn itself and just kind of clean up that area before moving on. And once I'm satisfied I got it all cleaned up, I will leave it set to dry. And then I do come in and put a layer of Mod Podge over that alcohol to seal it all in before putting my epoxy on. So after that Mod Podge is dried, I'm going to put my first of three layers on this cup to finish it. So this is the first layer here just clear epoxy I am putting all over this cup um, I will hit it with my torch get any bubbles put it on my turner and leave it leave it spinning to cure so this like I said is the first of three layers um, on the second layer I will give it a light sanding clean it really good with some alcohol and then put my third layer of epoxy on get the inside of my cup all cleaned up. I do have a video showing you how I clean um, my cups that I will leave uh, in the description below. But yeah, that's it for this one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya!